So what feels like forever ago was the announcement of this movie, Baghead. It finally got released. It's on Shudder. Yes. And it was originally a short film, and they decided to turn it into a feature. This happens pretty regularly. All of Saw, Lights Out, tons of movies. This is about a girl who inherits a pub mm -hmm. from her dead daddy and finds out that there is a entity in the basement that can bring the dead back to life but only for two minutes and of course there's rules behind that and if this thing ever gets out it's not going to be good for anybody <laughs> now this stars the chick from the witcher who plays siri i hope that didn't activate your phone it also has peter mullen in it mm -hmm. from session nine do it gordon <laughs> <laughs> this one is getting a lot of bad reviews and I've heard like nothing good about it mm. and so I went into it with pretty low expectations expecting it to be trash and uh, I was a big fan of this one I don't understand all the issues yeah. with it I thought this was really well made the main gripe I would have is some poor CG mm. in places that does kind of take you out of it for a moment. And I don't want to make it seem like this thing's wholly original or anything like that. This is, for the most part, a pretty standard generic premise and execution, but one I enjoyed. With almost any horror movie, there is always going to be suspension of disbelief. Whether it's in character motivations or decisions or whatever. So I do think there will be some people who are like, why would they do that? Or mm. any of that. It never really bothered me here. Mm. And in this, I found everything to have enough purpose to sell me into it. Um, yeah, I think overall I liked the film. Um, I do think that it is a lesser version of Talk To Me. Yeah. As far as the concept goes, there's that. I think that, like, you know, as you had already said, it doesn't reinvent anything, but I think that what is done is, you know, fairly successful and competent. I like the location. I think that the pub, I think that looked really cool. It has a good atmosphere to it. And I really like the lead's performance. I think she did a good job. But I wasn't, I definitely wasn't in love with the film. I found it to be, you know, you had just said, like, there's a suspension of disbelief. But honestly, for me, one of the things that, brought the film down is that I feel like there is, in the beginning, I think that there's characters accepting a kind of insane situation a little too quickly for me. I just think that it would have elevated it a little bit more if there was maybe more at stake or more motivation for why somebody would accept something so insane so quickly. So there's a relationship going on here between the father and the daughter that's estranged and I found that stuff to be slightly underdeveloped for what it could have been in order to make this more emotionally impactful and to give that reason mm. to what you were referring to but I still think it's adequately handled here. So that didn't bother me. But I just don't think this film is as bad as people are making it out to be. This has very good performances from everybody. The film looks great. It has some very creepy moments. I think it has some mm. really good twists mm -hmm. to it that work pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think that there is some really good character stuff going on between the three main people that we get in this film. Yeah. And I felt like there was some surprises that I was not expecting. Also, I really liked the ending. I and liked the ending too. So yeah. I, I, don't, I honestly was like, I'm like really into this one. Oh, I really, okay. yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. It, but these are those kinds of movies where I think people overthink these things too mm. much. And I'm like the king of overthinking things. <laughs> I liked it. Like, I, I don't hate it at all. I definitely don't think it deserves to get like, oh, it's a terrible film or anything, yeah. as you'd already said. I think this is actually a really good kind of entry horror film, too. There's not a lot of, you know, gore. There's no gore. There's nothing that would be... I think inappropriate for like a teen audience. I, I'm not as big on it as you are. Yeah. But that's because, that's as I had already said, I think Talk to Me handles a lot of the concepts in here a lot 
better um, for me personally. I, I liked it the way that it was done and talked to me, but I still think this is a good watch. Like it's something fun to throw on that's got a spooky vibe to it and has some creepy shots in it and good acting. I think it's worth your time for sure. And if you are a fan of gimmicky horror, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have. I guess I am into gimmicky horror. <laughs> I guess that's what it really comes down to. Yeah. I like setting up the universe, doing the world building, giving us the rules, putting together some creepy fun moments, some oh shit, some oh no. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I don't know. That always is just engaging and, and fun to me. I don't need things to be life changing. Yeah. I don't need things to be genre defining. I mean, it's great when you get those, but I also just like throwing on a totally fine movie and just immersing myself in and having a good time. And that's what this did. I was entertained. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Well, it is on Shutter currently. Go check it out. Yeah. So says I. Uh, no, I say check it out too. No, I said it. Okay, he says it more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.